Hi everyone and welcome to TWF <coughs> Hi everyone and welcome to TWF Dynamite or Might. I, Mike Lane, Tony Shivati, and Montel Vertadius Porter here. And here and today on Dynamite or Might, we're gonna have Holy Fellow Nicholas or Father Yule or Santa Claus here today. You're going to see him here today. So, you're going to see him here today. Uh, Mike Lane says, Well, there he is, Tony Schiavone says, Mike. You see him in the ring right now. You see Father Yule, which some folks in the 4-1 Kingdom call him. Other folks in other lands might call him Papa Dewell, but that's mostly Spanish borrowed words right there. And other folks might call him Santa Claus, but that's more of Dutch borrowing, you know, fostering off of the name Nicholas. But you see, there he is right there. Right in the ring right now, Tony Schiavone says. You got that right, Mike and Tony. There's Father Yule. And I don't know why they call him Father Yule, but that's what some folks and uh, other some folks around the world call him that. You know, mostly in the four one kingdom, but I would think other lands call him that too. Ho ho ho! Happy Yule! I am Holy Fellow Nicholas, also known as Father Yule, also known as Papa Joel to you Spanish speaking folk, also known as Santa Claus to the rest of the world, and for some folks know me as Father Yule. Now it is not. Yule this year hopefully will be a good one. Every year the folks of both the Western Christendom and Eastern Christendom come together because they all worship and believe in God and Jesus. Yule is the birth of Jesus. Some folks out there say that Jesus' birthday happened earlier on and they just shifted it and put Jesus' birthday into Yule, which was the 12th month. Now, I'm not going to go through and this whole thing about was he born in the 12th month, was he not born in the 12th month. The Holy Book does not say. But what the Holy Book does say, that since God so loved the world, so forgave the world, God gave us the gift. His gift was his son, Jesus, who was the king of kings, the Kaiser Kaiser, the Lord of Lord, the Earl of Earls, the Kingling of Rest, the right hand of God, the son of God. Jesus has sundrious ranks and all are well given. He is also a healer, a teacher, and a freer. You ask, how was he a teacher? Jesus taught mankind and womankind classes of love and kindness and forgiveness. Jesus was a healer because he healed the sick, the wounded, and the handicapped. Jesus was a freer because Jesus yielded up his life to die for the sins of all mankind and all womankind. Since God so loved and forgave the world, and since God is so loving and forgiving, he is also all whole, all holy, all good, all righteousness, all knowing, all seeing. God wanted mankind and womankind to have their sins cleaned away. And God was willing to give us, was willing to put Jesus in the bind to take on the handicap which death, which sin brought on, which is death. But you see, through that death, which was very bad, thing to go through, but through that death, through that blood that was spilt, through all those beatings, Jesus and God and Jesus cleaned away our sins, made us as good as we can be, and gave us a stead in heaven in our afterlife through God and through Jesus. No man or woman can ever be as holy or as good or sinless or flawless as God. Jesus was the only one that could ever live that true, holy, sinless, sinless, holy, sinless, holiest, and flawless life. 
I give out gifts to onlook God and Jesus, since God gave Jesus to the world as a gift. The same way that those wise men traveled for sundry years looking for gifts, and then spent a long time looking to where they met Jesus, knowing that he was the he was a gift from God himself. So that is my that's my word to why I do what I do. Shit. Well, it looks like it looks like here comes King Valkyrie coming to the ring now, Mike Mike Lane says. We'll see what King Valkyrie has to say. Santa Claus or Father Yule or Holy Fellow Nicholas. You have always done you have always done a great thing for others. You give to others and you never ever wanted to get anything back. You know? So the way I so the way I look at it, you know. So the way I look at it, I think that you should get a gift this year. Well, yes, that is true, King Valkyrie, that I do give out gifts, you know, and I do it in the same thoughtfulness and care and mind thoughtfulness that God did when God gave Jesus to us as a gift. Well, all I want to say is thank you, have a happy Yule, and Santa, I just want to say keep up the good work, because you keeping, keeping the happiness and glee of Jesus' birthday Yule alive is a wonderful thing. Thank you, King Valkyrie. All right, King Valkyrie says, I got to be with Father Yule. All right, at least that's what some of the folks around the world call him. We call him Father Yule. <sighs> now the way now some of you we call him Father Yule. There is a theater playing down there. We call him Father Yule. I can't speak for the rest of the world, but I want to say right now. That I know that I am the TWF 24-7 fighter. And I know that some folks will, you know, guilt or shame or scathe that winnings. And they'll be like, oh, well, WWE withdrawal dares in 2022YL. Yeah, well, they did. Didn't mean that the TWF had a withdrawal there since the WE withdrawal theirs. So I just want to say, you think that y'all so great, King Valkyrie, but you're not. I want your TWF twenty. I want your TWF twenty four seven winnings. Well, there's Zia Lee there, Mike Lane said. She came to the toy wrestling gathering yesterday, you know, from Walmart's website through the seller's Free King Toys, Mike, to, uh, Mike Lane says. And now she's already starting a bind. Yeah, she's unhappy, Tony Schiavone said, and she wants to be the TWF 24-7 fighter which some folks have guilted and shamed it and scathed WWE for starting and even though they ended it last year it's still something they still bitch about. I can tell you one thing Montel Retatius Porter said they can scathe and shame and guilt WWE for having the 24-7 winnings when they did you know but the TWF isn't going to yield that one yield that one up and I think Zia Lee would make a great TWF 24-7 fighter. She can get one gift for Yule, you know, and she don't have to yield for Father Yule to give it to her. Montevideo Porter says, You're going to give me 
the TWF 24-7 winnings or I'm going to take it from you. Well, first off, there's not a fight over Ling in the ring. And then two diff, you're not going to tell me what to do. I don't know how things are in the folks folk reich of Eastland where you just walk up to someone and say give me your belongings or your winnings. That don't work this way. Well now we got the fight over Ling in the ring now. And I guess we'll have the match. Stan Lane. I guess we'll have the match Mike Lane says. And now we're going to have the match now. Mike Lane said, yeah, we are, Tony Schiavotti said. We are going to have the TWF 24-7 winnings on stake here today on Dynamite or Might. Yeah, Mike Lane says, we're going to have that. And I can tell you, Zia Lee is going to knock King Valkyrie's head off, but should truly be Queen Valkyrie. But then again, Montel Retatis Porter said, I'm not the one that gave her the rank king or kaiser. It really should, it truly should be queen or kaiserin. This is for the TWF 24-7 winnings. First, she is from Eastland, or the folks folk reich of Eastland, Zia Lee. And she is, I guess from the Northlands, King Valkyrie, standing well, here goes the match, and oh, Zia Lee just uh, Zia Lee just hit her with that one. Zia Lee just hit her with that kick and knocked her down. Mike Le uh, Mike Lane says, "Yes, she did. She took down King Valkyrie." Mike Lane says, "With that one kick, Tony Schiavone said King Valkyrie is down." Yeah, Montavitatius Porter says, and we're gonna have a new TWF 24/7 fighter. One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Here is your winner and the new TWF 24-7 fighter, Zia Lee. Zia Lee has won the TWF 24-7 winnings by beating King Valkyrie here today on Dynamite or Might. And it looks like King Valkyrie's time as a TWF 24-7 fighter has come to an end again, Mike Lane says. Yeah, Zia Lee came in and gave her one kick and beat King Valkyrie, and she's now the new TWF or Toy Wrestling Gathering 24-7 fighter, Tony Schiavone says. I told you, Mike and Tony, I told you Zia Lee was going to do that. I told you King Valkyrie was no match for her, for her strength or her might or her wrestling skills or her fighting skills. You should listen to me, Montel Retadius Porter says. Listen to you, Mike Lane says, like you like you were all knowing or all seeing and you know what's going to happen before it happened, Mike Lane says. Well, I can tell you one thing, Tony Chavalli said, you did say it was going to happen, Montel, so I will give that to you. And speaking of that, Mike Lane says, we have another man, Montel Retailers Porter, that sees everything, even if sometimes he Another man who need be not see not sees not see some things coming before they do, Gorilla Monsoon. Thank you, Mike Lane and Tony Shavati. I'm going to be talking with Zia Lee here today on a Lonely Night Raw. I mean here on Dynamite or Might. All right, Zia Lee. You seem to be the new. You are the new TWF 24/7 fighter. However. You seem to not gone on the right feet. First off, Gorilla Monsoon, I am Zia Lee. I'm the new TWF 24-7 fighter. And I will tell you what, everyone will now give me the on look that I asked for. You see, King Valkyrie thinks she's so cool because she has those two swords, but it didn't do her any good. I with one kick beat her and I'm now the TWF 24-7 fighter. However, one thing Zia Lee, I need to tell you, you now have to worry because now other folks will come after you for the TWF 24-7 winnings. 
I don't know who, I don't know when, I don't know how, I don't know what time or what stead, but I do know it's going to happen. Well, I'll be ready for them, Gorilla Monsoon. You saw what I did to King Valkyrie, and if I can do that to King Valkyrie, I can do that to any man or any woman. Well, that's my talk with Zia Lee. Back to you, Mike Lane and Tony Schiavati. Well, thank you, Gorilla Monsoon, for talking with Zia Lee here today on Dynamite or Might. And it is all the time we got here for Dynamite or Might. I, Mike Lane, Tony Schiavati, Montel Vertadius Porter, we hope you like Dynamite or Might, and we'll see you tomorrow.